Hey, it's Jason. Have you ever uploaded your video to YouTube or been watching somebody else's video and thought to yourself, why does that sound so dull? It may not be your audio mix from DaVinci Resolve. It might actually be the stable volume setting right here on YouTube. This is a feature that automatically compresses the audio in your videos to even out the quiet parts and the loud parts. Now this sounds helpful, but if you went through DaVinci Resolve and you mixed your dialogue, your music, and your sound effects the way that they should be, this can completely squash and destroy your dynamics. Now I just learned about this recently, so in this quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to turn off the stabilized audio so you can hear the videos exactly as the creator intended you to hear them with all the clarity, the punch, and the nuance that they created in the mix. So let's jump in and show you the setting real quick. So right here on YouTube, for almost any video that I've looked at, this is one of my videos. If we come to our little settings icon right here, we're gonna open this up and we have this right here, stable volume. Now I only have to turn this on or off once and it is on by default. Now I had no idea this was here. I actually heard about it through a comment from a viewer and they said, hey, I can't hear the dynamics you're showing an example of. And this setting is the reason why he couldn't hear that because this is automatically using compression to make even or even out the loud parts and the quiet parts. So I wanna turn this off because if a creator knows what they're doing with audio and they've gone ahead and mixed their dialogue music and sound effects the way that you're supposed to and the way that I teach here in DaVinci Resolve, then you're gonna be able to hear the sound design exactly as they designed it. If you have this stable volume setting turned on, it's gonna change the way that their audio sounds and the way they wanted it to sound. So in most cases, I'm gonna recommend that you turn that off, especially if you're watching my videos because I don't want YouTube compressing and changing the way that I've edited my audio and you shouldn't either. Now maybe you are watching a video where the quiet parts are too quiet, the loud's too loud, and you just wanna even it out a little bit. Well, you can go ahead and turn that on for that video and then maybe turn it off when you're done. So it does have a place and that setting can help in certain situations. But if you've watched any of my videos here on YouTube, I'm gonna recommend that you tell people to turn that setting off in your videos because your edit is gonna sound better than what YouTube does to compress everything and make it sound one even monotone kind of volume. So I just learned about this recently. Hopefully you guys now know about it if you didn't know about it already if you did let me know down below because i had no idea that setting was out there i just never look at those too often but now we know i thought it was important that i let you guys know that i think you should turn that off so you can hear the audio exactly as the creator wanted you to hear it so with that said i'm out of here to make some more davinci resolve tutorials for you guys if there's anything you want to see you want to know drop me a comment down below and with that said i will see you in the next video peace Hey, check out these videos over here. And if you want to join my email list, I'll link that down below too. I got some good tips for you that come right your way by signing up. See you later.